Hey, Betty Fash. 6th of April, 2020. I pray you're all doing well managing through this gigantic worldwide Manhattan Project hoax. And we're about to go into our death-filled two-week lockdown here, right? And there'll be a lot of death, unfortunately. But there will be death. And there'll be a lot of death. There will be death. That's all Trump's been spewing is there's going to be a lot of death. And there's a lot I want to share with you guys. In my last video, I was talking about the four horsemen, but I didn't get to the pale horse. Right now, we're seeing this black horse, this servitude system being put into place, right? And Trump has just been talking about death for the last few days, which is interesting because the pale horse is the only one that the rider has a name. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. And his name is Death. It's the Greek word 2288, which is just the opposite of Trump's text campaign number, right? Shows up 119 times in the Bible. Donald is the 119. I mean, there's all kinds of things here, you guys. 311, the world changed. The pandemic was declared. NBA, Major League Baseball, all of them canceled all in that day. It all changed on 311. And the 28, this is interesting. Remember the Trump calm before the storm, right? That was 888 days before 311. You guys know what this represents? I don't know, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What storm is the president? You'll find out. Thank you very much. You'll find out. Tonight, I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak. Plus 28 days brings us to Passover, which is really interesting. And do you remember when Obama signed the One World Trade Center beam? He signed that on Donald Trump's 66th birthday on the day. And from that day all the way up to 311 was 2,828 days. That's pretty crazy, you guys. The 2,288, the 8822. I mean, there's a lot going on here. There truly is. And so right now, I just want to share with you some things about New York that came to me this morning that have a sense of urgency to them and that these times are so critical to your relationship with Christ Jesus and to realize this has all been foretold. This is all prophesied in the word of God and the predictive programming is off the charts, which many of us have seen, but you need to wrap your mind around what we are watching manifest. Once great city of New York, a 50-foot containment wall is erected along the New Jersey shoreline, across the Harlem River, and down along the Brooklyn shoreline. It completely surrounds Manhattan Island. The United States police force, like an army, is encamped around the island. You don't come out. the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to their televisions too terrified to skip the commercials. The next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to their televisions too terrified to skip the commercials. A new disease. No one's immune. 
It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. And instead of summer, it's all the time. Janice, we do have standards. This can't be a made-up disease. The only moral thing to do is release a deadly virus into the general public. Is release a deadly virus into the general public. We do have something we've been holding on to, but it hasn't been tested. Uh, well, we certainly believe in testing, but I... Oh, oh, well, we certainly believe in testing, but I... Oh, oh. A vaccine because you want to make sure that it's safe. So that's one of the things we're really going to push on is vaccinate somebody to prevent infection and actually make them worse. Well, we certainly believe in testing, but I... Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Escape from New York. It just happens to come out. 2022 weeks as of Passover and the lead role the guy's name is Snake. Call me Snake. Right? And we know how Trump loves his snake poem. Your president has betrayed you, beguiled you, hoodwinked you. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Now, the actor who plays the president in this movie, his real name is actually Donald, the 119. You boss of the Duke of New York, you are a number one. The Twin Towers are where this snake Pliskin begins his adventure in Escape from New York. I mean, this is just interesting stuff, you guys. And to top it all off, Marvel Comics made a comic strip about Snake Pliskin. 1997. First issue, January, The Adventures of Snake Pliskin. Get a load of this. You just, you can't get around this stuff. Cookie Crisp. First edition. First page. Bowling for Jesus will not be seen this evening. You heard correctly. Bowling for Jesus will not be seen this evening so that we may bring you the following special broadcast from the United States Department of Entertainment. Tonight I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak. Look at the symbolism. The, the eye is literally speaking to you. Tonight, an exclusive update on the master criminal ranked public enemy number one by the United States Police Force. Interesting name. The only man to ever escape from New York. Snake Pliskin. Call me Snake. America's most hunted. Snake Pliskin, I heard he was dead. Now listen to this. As seen in this security footage, Pliskin recently struck again, this time at the Weapons Division of the Atlanta's Centers for Disease Control. <laughs> the Weapons Division of the CDC successfully escaping with millions in engineered, engineered metaviruses. Now, I don't know what metaviruses are, but I know that they're tracking you by your metadata on your cell phones primarily. Trump's public-private partnerships equal tyranny, folks. They're setting it all up right before your eyes. This whole operation is just part of Skynet being put into place. Right now, I'd say is probably your last chance, in my humble opinion, to escape New York. And if you do, you want to hide your metadata from them. Put your cell phone in a Faraday enclosure. Use proxy browsers. You understand? So they come out with this comic book that is talking about the CDC, Escape from New York, and a virus. So, you think about that. And then, okay, it's not over yet. We got the 28 days from 311 to Passover, the 7777, the snake Pliskin, Obama's portrait, remember that? The six-fingered Nephilim portrait with the snake in the garden. So, there's your direct relation to Obama and the snake who signed the beam on Trump's 66th birthday, and of course, Trump's snake poem. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. 
Just think about this. That's all I'm saying. And then we had this comfort ship arrive in New York City. And the last time it was there was for 9-11, of course, right? Now it arrives with all kinds of fanfare on the 30th of March. And on the same night, they had the Empire State Building light up like a candle with an alarm, okay? This is just not normal. And there'll be a lot of death, unfortunately. But there will be death, and there'll be a lot of death. Comfort, believe this or not, one of the definitions in the Bible, Hebrew 1082, means to break off or loose or desist or invade with destruction. You can't make this stuff up. The Senate remained in emergency session late into the night debating the call for martial law. All eyes now turn to New York City to see if martial law will bring the terror to an end. We intend to seal off this borough. Then we intend to squeeze it. We're going to strip you of all your human dignity and steep you in so much chaos, you're going to beg for your government to save you. There's historically nothing more corrosive to the morale of a population than policing its own citizens. And they will put you under the loving care of someone like Dr. Anthony Fauci, whose very own article in the New England Journal of Medicine, I will remind you, states that the COVID-19 is akin to a seasonal flu. Do you understand? I don't know how far they're going to push this. The question is, is how far will you be pushed? Dr. Anthony Fauci, yet again, stressed the administration's main message, social distancing. People are suffering. People are dying. It's inconvenient from a societal standpoint, from an economic standpoint, to go through this. But this is going to be the answer to our problems. Yeah, it's the way to solve their problems, which are you and me and about seven billion some odd other people. This is just inconvenient for the entire world collapsing around us, destroying the lives of countless millions of people, literally destroying their lives. It's inconvenient. Wrecking economies, causing people to live in fear, trapped in their houses over a seasonal flu. It's inconvenient. For their little fantasy of creating their image. These people worship the gods of this world. They are satanic and evil. You cannot believe anything these people say. You might as well be listening to the United States Department of Entertainment. Without Jesus Christ and the spirit of the living God indwelling you, you're going to be deceived by this garbage. And again, I don't know how far they're going to push this, you guys. So be prepared, always in prayer. This spiritual warfare is manifest, and the only weapon against it is the Word of God, the truth, which is Jesus, the Messiah. The enemy and their lies cannot come against you. So seek Him first, foremost, and always, because He is our peace in a world of lies, chaos, darkness, and death. And I have to put out a warning, so to speak, for the Passover week. is just too many things pointing to this time period. Pray for the lost. It's hard to watch all this stuff go down and not just be completely enraged. But people are opening up for some truth. And, you know, we got to be there to offer them the truth, which is in Christ Jesus alone.
and be wise and gentle with them. You know what I'm saying? But bold at the same time. It's not an easy road we're running here, but we know what our blessed hope is and we know that this world is not long and we're not long for this world so keep looking up peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 